Today we're driving a 1984 Ferrari 512 BBI, the Boxer Berlinetta. It has a 4.9 liter flat 12 Bosch fuel injection. It was rated at 335 horsepower, 333 pound feet of torque. We have a five speed dog leg manual transmission with a gated shifter, of course. We're gonna take this out for a drive today, walk you around it, show what it looks like inside and out. I'm here with my buddy Adam from hey Vintique Motors. He's That's gonna right. walk us around this real quick, give us some info, because I just know the basic specs on this 512 BBI. <laughs> yeah, so it's an 84, uh, so the last model year for the uh, the BB model. Uh, 1981 was the first year for fuel injection. Uh, so previous to that, it was just called a BB. This one's finished in Rosso Corsa. This is the original factory color with a tan interior. It's got Chromador wheels, metric size tires, and they do have the center lock-offs. They all had that. Um, so these were not U.S. spec vehicles. They were all gray market, and then they were imported and federalized. Um, so any of the vehicles here in the States, you know, you're always looking for federalization papers, which this car has. Um, it was purchased new by uh, Pietro Irilli. I think that's how he pronounces it. Uh, he was a well-known Hollywood mechanic for most of the stars. Steve McQueen was a big client of his. Um, same thing with Clint Eastwood. Uh, you know, he purchased this car new, it took delivery at the Ferrari factory, and then in July of 84, he imported it and federalized it, and it spent nearly its entire existence in California until about 2010, uh, when it was purchased for an extensive Ferrari collection here in Michigan, and uh, it's been in that collection ever since. So, uh, as it presents today, it's in great shape. It's got one repaint. The cool thing about this car is it's got 76,000 miles on it. That's awesome. Uh, if anyone has ever driven these cars, you know that it's very difficult to get to that mileage. They're, they're, they're not the most comfortable cars to, to drive. So uh, the fact that this one has that many miles is a, a great testament to the care and the maintenance it's had. It is a very Italian driving position. Yes. Everything is a little bit offset. Steering wheel is in a funky place. Yeah, you gotta have skinny legs to drive this thing well. Yes, <laughs> you know I'm about five ten, um, and I fit in there, you know, pretty well. Uh, you know, I got maybe an inch of room between my head and the, and the ceiling, but you know, um, anything over six feet, I think you're gonna start having problems with these. Sure. All right, let's take a look under the hood at the heart of this 512 VBI. Two part process. Got a button latch there, and there's a lever here, and you just lift. Nice. This is a original engine, numbers matching, uh, well-maintained vehicle. Super clean. Very clean. Yeah, sounds amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Right, let's go drive it. Let's take it for a cruise. Oh yeah, wedging myself in here. You fit pretty snug. Yeah. If the seats don't keep you in, everything else kind of <laughs> bolsters you together. Yeah, we'll hold Ferrari switch gear here. Lots of it. So great to see a gated shifter. Today we just drove a 488 GTB. That's right. And this is the polar opposite. <laughs> Let that fuel pump prime bit. There is that Sweet. nice. Fires right up. Yeah. Handbrake off. So this is a dog leg. First is down and to the left. Right. Reverse is push down and up to the left. Yeah. Got your Pioneer equalizers over here. That's great. 1980s. Ashtray down here. Open the door from underneath. Pioneer head unit. Yeah, not too many luxuries, but yeah. uh, this is as luxury as you got with Ferrari in the 80s. You got some storage <laughs> space back here. Yeah. yeah and, the, and in the front, there's a, a frunk. You know, they can That's probably right. fit a couple overnight bags. Yep. Um, this was intended to be a GT car, uh, you know, back uh, in the era, you know, go cruising through the mountains in, in Europe. That sure. was what the intention was. But, you know, a lot of people brought them here to the United States uh, and enjoyed them. All right, off we go. Feeling the clutch out here. Yeah, these do have a heavy clutch, you know. On, on slow starts, you got to give it a little fuel and let out. This is 1980s Ferrari tech. Yeah. 
Oh man, this driving position is wild. <laughs> yeah, you said your legs sit so far off to the right. Makes a great sound. Yeah, nothing like a 12 cylinder Ferrari. And you know, the 512, uh, it started out with the 365 BB. Uh, you know, it was the successor to the Daytona and the predecessor to the Testarossa. Uh, so these are really iconic. Let that baby scream a little. Oh, that sounds awesome. Oh, yeah. Came out with the fuel injected model in 1981. I'll let so the engine smooth. do the talking for me. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> it came out with the fuel injected model in 81. 84 was the final model year, uh, and then went to the Testarossa. Um, these are Bosch K-Tronic fuel injection systems. Uh, 335 horse. Um, they're pretty robust, but uh, you know some people do prefer the earlier carbureted cars. Mm -hmm. uh, but nonetheless, great driving experience with either one. Okay. No power steering, Chris. I know, man. You got to get going first. That's it. Popping my vintage Ferrari cherry here today. <laughs> Once you get used to it, you just got to get into the rhythm of everything, adjust to your very sideways driving position. This gated shifter is so cool. Oh yeah. Nothing like a Ferrari gated shifter. Yeah. driving it here a little bit. Could you imagine 76,000 miles behind the wheel of this car? It's a lot of miles. Absolutely. <laughs> Rides well though. I mean, <laughs> I guess once you're wedged in here and if you fit well, if you have the right body type for it. Absolutely. Cool. Well, awesome experience. Yeah, Thanks, man. Glad, glad to get you behind the wheel. Yeah, this was fun. Give you some experience with one of these 512s. Mm. They're great fun. Okay, cool. Park your brake on. We'll put it in first. <laughs> Awesome. Unique experience. Yeah, man, definitely. These, man. Yep. Crazy. You don't get anything like this anymore. No, you don't. Man. Yeah. And that's why people value these. You know, that's why these are two hundred thousand plus. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You just don't get anything like them. Uh, uh, Orange got a. He <laughs> got a. He needs a little bit, but that's okay. Very Italian. Very Italian. All right, man. Well, hey, thanks for sharing this. You're very welcome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we'll see if I can do a little better driving on the next one, but uh, for now, that was pretty cool. Neat experience. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Cool. Nice. <laughs> Whew. These are so tight. I know, man. Tiny, tiny little uh, guys. What little interior. Yeah, when Ferrari built these things, they designed the car first, then put the engine in, then worried about if you could drive it and fit in it yeah, last, er right? Ergonomics were last on the equation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, power's awesome though. This thing still pulls just crazy.
Yeah, you know, even for today's standards, 335 horsepower doesn't sound like a lot, but you know, uh, that's not the point of driving one of these. You get that visceral uh, 12 cylinder Ferrari experience, you know, you're driving a vintage Ferrari. Uh, and you know, back in this era, 335 horsepower, that was all of it. That know? was it, yeah. You know, they were intended to be GT cars. You sure. Know, uh, get out there and, and hit the road and look, uh, look great doing it. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. well, then you got the systems like uh, power windows and air yeah, that's right. You know the sound system. They start yep. playing the car down a bit. Yep. Um, wow. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Very neat. All right, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you guys.